Then if we go down the hallway. Everything here's that's hanging on the walls is all mine. But the she she did all the painting in every single room. This room right here was George's room when he lived here. He picked the collar out of the walls himself. This was Jake's room. He told me that his daughter loved pink. I said, so this ain't your daughter's room. This is your room. Bright enough to give you a headache. It really is. I got Jake's family Bible right here. He just made it to where he, he could have a family Bible, I guess, that he could pass down, you know, through generation to generation. Uh, Jake wrote an inscription in the back to his daughter. It says, always trust in the Lord. Be kind, generous, faithful, loyal. Don't judge a person by what they look like or their past. Don't let your emotions control you. Love, Dad. But over here, he put in love and memory of Hannah Mae Roden. And this room right here is where uh, my sister slept. At the time, Billy stayed with his mother because my sister and Billy did not get along. This was the kids' room, but she always slept in this room because she'd sleep with Jake's little girl. And if she had a bad dream, she'd curl up with her. Why was your sister so obsessed with children? Obsessed and clingy, and it wasn't just with all children, it was just her children. She wanted to be able to control and manipulate everything in her family's life. Do you think the thing of control could be from, who knows, but when you're raped, you're so not in control that you then might feel like, oh, I really need to control everything because I didn't have control in that moment. Do you know, I, I've never thought about that. And that could have been what changed my sister anyway. Well, I mean, I know it's a, a tragedy. Anytime someone is raped, it's it's a it's not good. It's it's tragic. It really is. It's horrible. But the effect that it could have on somebody, you gave me a lot to think about. I sell eggs for three dollars a dozen. I try to sell enough stuff just to pay for my hobby. I give more away than, than anything just to, to help people out. People need to look out for each other. My family, the rodents, I know several families that would have probably went hungry if it wasn't for them because they know what it feels like to be down and out. When I found out what had actually happened, the first thoughts that come to my mind was that it had to be a mistake. I just couldn't fathom somebody hating them enough to do that to the whole family. It don't make sense. Jake read so much about sexual abuse that was unrealistic. I remember. I was sitting in Jake's blue truck. He got talking about pedophiles for some reason. And I just started crying. And I was like, you know, I was sexually assaulted when I was six years old. And he was so angry. Well, then he started asking questions. And the questions just never ended. Like, he was so furious when I told him. Like, he was going to go kill my abuser. And I was like, it's been years, let it be. But then he started asking, like, did I provoke it, what I wore? Jake told me straight to my face that if I had not wore green flowered shorts that day. He blamed you? He blamed me. I told him it could happen to anyone. <laughs> 